Hello everyone, this is Blood Naganashi here with your Adventure Quest commentary, and I have a lot of new ideas to bring life back into the Adventure Quest YouTube community. Me, Zero Phantom, Seth Hydro, will be bringing in the new armor rating system. Now, this will not only apply to armors, but it may apply to other items too. The reason why it will be specific for armors is because when it comes to warring situations, we need the quickest attacking armors possible. But also, just because an armor is really fast or really powerful doesn't mean it's the prettiest or the most ugliest. So, for example, we're going to use one armor to, you know, give you a little insight on where I'm coming from here. We're going to use the Decimator here, all right? One of the most fastest attacking armors in the game. You know, we're going to put Terran right here for right now. We're going to sit this in the, in the, um, we're going to sit this in the back for a minute, all right? So, then we're going to go to combat practice. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So we're going to start off with our default. The Mighty Ultra Guardian Plate. All right. So this weapon. Mm, shit. I said weapon. Sorry. So this armor, right. The looks of the armor. If I would give it a rating between 1 and 10. I would probably give it. Hmm, probably a 7 or 8. All right. The reason why I say 7 or 8. Because these spikes that's around here, right? If you can see me clicking around it, these spikes, I think they should be color custom too. You know, I think with these spikes being the color that they are, it makes the armor look ugly overall. Um, but other than that, the armor is fine. It's wonderful. You know, I like it better than the regular Guardian plate. You feel me? All right. So now, because this armor has more than one attack animation, um, it will make the rating system a bit more, you know, detailed. I'm not going to say difficult because it won't be difficult at all, you know. So how you do the rating system for multi for multi um, attack type armors is you rate the um, types of attacks separately. You see what I'm saying? So, okay, for example, the regular two hit attack, um, the rating I would give for that, you know, for the speed. I'll probably give honestly maybe a five between a three and a five. The reason why is because why the fuck does it take so long just to stab this sword into the enemy, right? Now, if you're in a war, you know, like this is gonna take forever, you know, and you don't need to waste time to keep attacking. And then, especially because the damage isn't so great, I'm just using an iron thorn. You know, so I'm just fully offensive, and I don't even have my double dynamics and blood contract combo, you know, because, you know, if you're worn, you don't want to try to get all your attacks off quickly. You know, you see what I'm saying? So I would give probably, I'll probably give the first attack between a three and a five. All right. Um, it's second attack, the forehead attack. I'll probably give that a solid three because it does take a minute to do all four of those hits and come back to a standing point before the monster attacks so it makes you know attacking really fast very you know difficult you know to pull off you see what i'm saying now now to our example armor the decimator this armor attacks extremely fast and you don't even have to waste any time you know waiting for the armor to get done attacking. You just, that's a quick swipe and that's it. And it's one quick powerful swipe too. You know, like if you can also time how quickly you can de defeat a monster, that will actually play a good effect in the rating system as well. So I don't have a timer on me. Um, I can actually put on the timer if, if you like, but I'm not gonna waste time doing that right now, at least not right now until we try to put this into effect maybe okay so the rating that i give the decimator look wise i will probably give it an eight or a nine why because it looks fucking awesome it's a mech type armor it has the spikes in the back it's color custom so that make that's a plus you know um it's just a good ass armor overall and it attacks really fast so like the looks makes it look even better you know this is decimating attack like i will also give like I will, i'm gonna rate that attack first 
I would rate that probably a probably a seven because it does take a minute. But at the same time, the reason why I get to seven is because it will reduce the health by a certain amount. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be worth it. You know, taking that little bit of time to watch it attack. You know, but it will reduce the health, so it's like it's saving you a bit of time temporarily because you know it will go back to, you know, the regular health if you don't kill it fast enough, which will be literally one turn. Okay. Um, but it's it's attack over it's attack animation rating overall. Honestly, I'm gonna give it a pure ten if you ask me, um, because it's really quick, like. A quick swipe, a quick powerful swipe. That makes it so much better. It's not no quick weak ass swipe. It's a quick powerful ass swipe. And you can like kill a lot of monsters really fast using this armor. And I'm glad that I did get the Z token package. You know. Um, especially when using powerful weapons like a throw scorn, you can really get the job done quickly. Or trigger weapons like Dragon Blade or you know, like Drago Sector, like you will really get far in battles just using this armor alone. You know, so yeah, the the rating system will work as follows: the armor's art, attack animation, um, the time that it takes for you to take the monster's health from full health to zero. That's when using strictly that armor. Um, what else? Um, the armor skill, if it has one, that will also play an effect. But armor skill won't play a major factor, you know, in the rating because it's just an armor skill. Um, a few other things as well. But this this armor rating system will be a great addition to the AQ2 community, making things more awesome, and it will make showcases way more interesting instead of just showing us fighting with it. Or showing you the resistances, the effects. Let's get more into detail. Let's 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 give AQ something to really strive for something more better by really, you know, give us some constructive, you know, critique on how our armors work, how we use our armors, and how we like our armors to be. Not saying all our armors should attack at a 10 rating speed, but just know what to look out for, what to use what not to use when it comes to warring situations or a quest, long ass quest or challenge monsters, how fast we can defeat a monster. You feel me? So yeah, this is just a little bit of a sample. We'll get more into detail about this within the chin or in the comment section below. Everyone take care and have a wonderful day. Battle motherfucking on.